Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. Stands for Just Trucks at the moment. Anyway, today we're going to run through what I keep or what I'm going to put in my new Toyota Tundra. If you weren't aware, I traded off the Jeep Gladiator Mojave recently and bought this Toyota Tundra. It is a 2024 SR5 TSS package. There's a video previously if you want to know more detail about that. But it's time to go through all the stuff that I pulled out of the Mojave and see what it is that I want to keep in the truck. And just to kind of show the, the things, I guess, that I haul around with me, some necessities I think that you need to have in your Toyota Tundra. So let's go take a look over here. First of all, before anybody asks, this is not for the new truck. Although I'm not necessarily opposed to a sport bar or a roll bar on this truck, but I don't think so. We've got other plans. So what I've got over here is all of the junk, all of the stuff that I took out of my previous truck. You can see there are other things on here, of course. That light bar, not for this truck either. But we're going to run through, first of all, tie downs. Tie downs and gloves, a must. You never know when you're going to haul something, need to tie things down in the bed. So I keep two or three with me. I think there are three here. I actually need to get some more, I think. I've kind of spread them out amongst all my trucks. But these are the best kind. You know, I've seen those kind that have like double ends and stuff on them. They're garbage. Just some regular varying length tie downs are all that you really need. And then gloves, of course, if for some reason you need to do something that's going to be rough on the hands. Now, I'd like to keep everything like this over on the driver's side because if I'm driving and I jump out, I want quick access to it, right? So why would I have to walk all the way around the truck to the other side when I can just have everything here? Now, we're going to go ahead, pull up the seat. I haven't really looked too much under here yet. Uh, so, this will be kind of a, a bit of a new experience. Hopefully, the camera is not washed out or blacked out. This should be a bit better. That's the one thing that the iPhone, which is what we're on right now, has over the other maybe better picture, better sound cameras, is they're better in the darkness. You can see it is much better. We can actually see inside of the uh, storage bay here. Now, where I was, you can see there are these slotted areas. Those are for partitions, I believe, that you can get to put inside this compartment to keep things separated, I guess. Uh, obviously, my truck didn't come with those unless they're hidden somewhere and I just haven't found them yet. Nonetheless, that's what they're for. So we're going to throw the gloves down here. And we're going to throw the tie-downs down here. So, let's go back. We're going to go back over to the uh, table of stuff, I guess. See what else we have that I'm going to throw in there. Next up, we have some jumper cables. Always like to carry a pair of these around with me. I've never had to use them, to be honest. But uh, just in case, got to have those. This actually fit in the grab bar on the Jeep Gladiator in front of the passenger. This does not fit anywhere in the new Tundra, so we're just going to kind of put this back here for right now. And I like to have this collapsible uh, tire iron, if you will, or lug nut remover, whatever you want to call it. It fits four different sizes. Uh, very handy to have in the truck, I think. I do need to make sure that uh, these actually fit the lug nuts that are on the truck. Uh, wouldn't be much uh, good if I needed it and it didn't fit, right? So let's make sure. I think we're going to be okay. That one's too small. That one's just right. So if you want to know, it's a 21 millimeter or 13 sixteenths uh, end. This, I guess technically I'd call it a T-bar. Now, this, as well as the battery jumper cables, we're going to put over on, I think, assuming there's room, the passenger side. Because these are things that I don't believe that I'm really going to have much use for. Hopefully never have any use for them. But, again, if you're stranded out somewhere or you need a jump or something, always good to have these things. Let's go ahead, pop that open. 
pull this side up and see we have a little bit of room right in here and then it looks like a little bit behind here oh and we do have the separators right here so they were kind of hidden inside the truck while we're here let's go ahead and put this one in why not if we have them why not use them and let's see if we can't stretch across here this thing is so big it's hard to get all the way across there's that one and that one and you notice they even have slots on the top so that you can put things across if you want to pretty cool i dig that now we should be able to fit the jumpers right in here just like that awesome and then the lug nut remover i cannot remember uh technically what to call that at the moment so we're just going to go with that going to fit that right underneath to kind of maybe try to keep things a little quieter in there i may put some kind of padding down in here just so i don't get a lot of noise from things bouncing around all right time to go back over Let's see what else we've got over here next up I have a flashlight, but I need to get the brackets that mount onto the seat to be able to put this beside the driver's seat. So we're going to hold off on this for now, but it will be going in. We have a tire pressure gauge. That's going to go in. An umbrella, because, you know, who likes to get wet when it's raining? We've got some hand sanitizer. Got to put that stuff in. A window glass breaker amongst uh, a couple other things a seat belt cutter this is really designed for if you needed to get out of the truck you couldn't open the doors or something you can hit the windows with this thing and they'll break because of the unique point on it i guess and then if you needed to cut yourself out of the seat belt you can do that here of course should we ever hopefully never go back to it we have masks those will go in the center console area so let me go ahead get this stuff put in and then we'll move on to the next item. Next up, we've got a cable for the phone, in case I ever need to plug in to charge or whatever. This truck does not have the wireless charging in it and some seat stoppers things to keep stuff from falling in between the seats and the console area i'll show you where these go seat stuffers pretty simple you have a slot goes over your seat belt holder or clasp whatever you want to call it and then you just kind of stuff them between the seat and the center console area like so not rocket science i know and again the whole purpose of these is to keep junk french fries change your phone from falling down here in between the seats by the way i did forget i have the tie down cleats for the bed we got to put those in they go in the side rails forgot all about those And by the way, the weight limit or pull or stress limit for those cleats appears to be 220 pounds. One more thing to put in the back of the Tundra, very important if you ever need it, and that is little mini rolls of toilet paper. Ever been to one of those roadside rests or whatever, you walk in and they don't have any of this stuff? You'll appreciate having it if you need it, right? 
These happen to be some that I ordered during the big sickness when everybody was buying everything. Um, I didn't know they were going to be tiny, teeny little rolls like this, but as it turns out, they are. So why not throw them in the back of the tundra just in case they're ever needed? One of those crazy little things, but believe me, if you're ever stuck somewhere and you don't have any of this, you're going to wish you had done this. Now, I'm going to put these right in the back, behind the seat. Um, they're light and they're cloth or they're paper, so they don't make any noise. So we're going to throw them right here. Be my kind of uh, little stash if I ever would need them or maybe somebody else. You never know. And then just put the seat up and be done with them. And there you go. That's it for now. I will put paperwork in there, of course, license or registration and insurance info. Although most of us have that on our phones these days, but I do have hard copies since I just bought the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in the glove box in case I should ever need them, hopefully not. Anyway, those are just a few things that I keep in my new Toyota Tundra. Leave a comment down below. What am I missing? The essential kind of things. I'm going to add some other stuff too, but this is just the initial run. Leave a comment. Let me know what you carry around. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.